Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It is the 29th of September, 2023. I'm going to look at the second race from Belmont, the Big A. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Uh, join me tomorrow for my F Horse Aqueduct preview with the Woodward. Also, big racing at Santa Anita. And also this weekend for my Longchamp Arc de Triomphe preview. It's going to be an excellent weekend of racing there. So I hope you check out that preview for Sunday's card. Um, also, I'll have previews for that uh, Friday. Car, a uh, Sunday, a uh, Saturday card, also, which is very good. But um, here in New York, um, we haven't seen the sun, it seems, since last Thursday, uh, and we've had a lot of rain. Uh, it rained basically from Friday morning, you know, until about Tuesday. Uh, and then we, we saw the sun for a little bit on Wednesday, and then, it, you know, Thursday was just like partly cloudy, uh, no sun. And uh, then it started to pour at four o'clock in the afternoon in the city. Um, it, it stopped and now it's pouring again at uh, 11 o'clock at night, Thursday. But basically, again, it's going to rain now until um, about lunchtime Saturday um, with a lot of rain. So th these turf courses are already saturated um, and they're going to get saturated even more. So um, y y you'll probably see the Joe Hirsch on the turf this weekend, maybe the Miss Grillo and the, uh, and the Pilgrim. Uh, but those two have really, you know, I highly you know, I, I just can't see them running more than three turf races, if more than one. Uh, like I said, I can't see them taking the Joe Hirsch off the turf. But uh, um, with that being said, um, you, you'll have a sloppy track today also off the turf. So uh, we're not going to look at the stakes races. We're actually going to look at the second race today, which is a good, interesting race. It's an allowance race, purse $100,000, races for three-year-olds and upwards, never won, uh, 18000 once in the main claiming starter, blah, 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 blah. We have a field of six horses going the distance of ground of 1,900 meters or a mile three sixteenths on the Aqueduct's main track. I like these quirky kind of distances. I'm going to go with the six horse Paddington as a top selection. 6542 in the Superfecta. 6542 Super. Top selection, six horse Paddington. Three year old caught by Curlin. Linda Rice trains. I Ratatouz Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came the 18th of August at Saratoga. A mile and eighth on the mud off the turf and the lounge race 100,000. And he finished third by 15 and a quarter lengths that day. And he sat on the front end saying some somewhat pedestrian fractions, but then he just got beat by just two slightly better horses, Croupin's Royal Spirit, who just had the jump on him you know he, he just kind of plodded along kind of hit the wall late it wasn't his day to win off of a very tough race before maybe he needed the run off a little bit more refreshing getting a mile three sixteenths which i think for he's bred for through and through he could get a good trip and win here at aqueduct i think when the sloppy when the track's sloppy an outside poster with speed should be you know is very nicely done and i think he has and he, he has and fits that uh, criteria quite nicely two back at saratoga 22nd of july mile nathan lounge started lounge race fifty thousand. he won by eight and a half lengths that day and Basically on the front and all throughout, they kind of walked that day, but he really took off clear. That was a very good, exciting run. And then at Ellis on the slop, Mile Nathan the main 50,000. With only three of the rivals, he basically put on a show. He won by 19 and a half lengths that day, nearly 20. Very pedestrian fractions, 111 to three quarters. You know, he, he really took off clear. Very nice run with an 87 bar. He's consistent. You know, he, he ran an 87 and a 90 bar. He kind of digressed the last time out with the 63. But since the last race, he is training well. He benefits with more distance. I like the poster with the um with the slop he could definitely win i think the five horse signators are second likeliest winner getting blinkers on for shoga and javier castellano only bought this horse 1.7 million dollars at the obs um sale last summer uh but most recently at uh, saratoga over the wilson mile off turf and optional at 62 you know, he just never really got going. He had a quirky post of that seven of eight hole. He finished fourth by four and three quarter lengths. He was just wide, never really showed up. Prior to that, going seven at Aqueduct, uh, at Saratoga and an allowance race, 115,000 first start since the last Aqueduct meeting in the fall. He won by, he finished seven by eight and a quarter lengths that day. He didn't break so much, which cost him. He never really got going there. And then the main special weight here at Belmont at Aqueduct last October, over the mile, went by four and a half lengths. He didn't get the, out of the gate so clearly, which again is a thing with him, but he really sat back early. He slowly moved his way up and he really took off clear you know and his place here going three quarters last september wasn't bad at all he is training well i think he goes up a lot with the added distance blinkers on i'll give him a shot here in the early pick four but to recap my selection for the second from the big a gonna take the six horse paddington give kudos to the five horse sanator six five four two super let's go six five in the pick four so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody